Hi, welcome to my channel Geography with Narendranath. Uh, today I explain about cyclone and also explain there are the classification of cyclone and tropical cyclone also and there are the formation of tropical cyclone and formation of extra tropical cyclone and there are different categories of the different storm and cyclone in India and must their management of cyclone effect on human and worldwide terminology of the tropical cyclone. If you are new of uh, my channel, so uh, kindly must will subscribe and click bell icon. Now start my uh, lecture about cyclone uh, in the recent information uh, in the year 2020, the cyclone Amphan, uh, you know, uh, formed over Bay of Bengal intensified and uh, turned into the super cyclone uh, storm. The second super cyclone since 1999, another incident, Mumbai has been hit by a cyclone after a gap of 129 years. Uh, first of all, you know about cyclone. Uh, cyclone are basically rapid inward air circulation around a low pressure area. The air uh, circulate in the anti-clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Cyclone are usually uh, accompanied uh, by violent storm and bad weather. Uh, the word cyclone is derived from the Greek words cyclone uh, meaning uh, the uh, quells of snake. It was coined by Henry uh, Fiddington and because of the tropical storm in the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea affair like uh, call it serpent of the sea. And definitely uh, there first of all you know uh, the classification there are the two type of the cyclone number one the tropical cyclone and extra tropical cyclone uh, basically is called cyclone the middle latitude and cyclone for uh, frontier cyclone or web cyclone. And uh, the World uh, Meteorology Organization used the term the tropical cyclone to cover uh, weather system in the in which winds exist the galley force minimum 63 km per hour. And uh, tropical cyclone develop in the region between the Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn and Cancer and their large scale uh, weather system developing over the tropical or subtropical waters and where they get and the organize into surface wind direction and uh, basically extra tropical cyclone occur in temperature zone and uh, high latitude region and these uh, through they are known to origin originate uh, in the polar region and uh, definitely you know uh, about the anti cyclone uh, and anti cyclone is the opposite of the cyclone has the onward and spiraling air circulation around the high pressure center and uh, an anticyclone winds uh, rotate clockwise in the northern hemisphere around the center of high pressure in uh, anticyclone are come in form about above and seeing the ground and high pressure center generally have fair weather and uh, Definitely, first of all, the uh, basically uh, their pressure system, their anticyclone and cyclone, their pressure condition, uh, sometimes they're high and low, and uh, pattern wind direction, sometimes there are the clockwise, and sometimes there are the anti clockwise, and uh, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere clockwise and anti clockwise. So, definitely, first, uh, you know, uh, the tropical cyclone, I explained. Uh, a tropical cyclone is a low pressure storm and system with very strong winds and the high rainfall. A tropical cyclone has uh, numerous low pressure thunderstorm that form around a central point called the eye. And tropical cyclone usually form the area that have storm and most air and water such as the equator in the north south america and these storm are most uh, commonly called the hurricane in the indian ocean and the south uh, southwestern asia and oceania region they are commonly referred to as the cyclone and the eastern asia they are referred to the typhoon and even through uh, they have all have the different names and they are all categories under the same type of the storm the 
tropical cyclone and uh, tropical cyclone are uh, violent storm and that originate over the ocean the tropical area and move over total coastal area bringing about the large scale destruction caused by the violent winds and very heavy rainfall and storm the sergeants and uh, this is very important the tropic tropical cyclone uh, originate and intensity over warm tropical ocean the condition favorable for the formation and intensification of tropical storm basically there are the some important points uh, number one the large sea surface with temperature higher than 27 degree centigrade and uh, presence of the coriolis force and third the small variation in the vertical wind speed and number four a free existing weak low pressure area or low level cyclonic uh, circulation and uh, number five there are the upper uh, divergence above the sea level uh, system and uh, now uh, i explain that the stage of formation tropical cyclone very important must uh, you will carefully listen the development uh, cyclone the tropical cyclone may be uh, divided into the three stage uh, first of all the formation and uh, initial development stage very important uh, basically the formation and initial development of cyclone storm depend upon the transfer of water vapor and heat from the warm ocean to the overlying air and primarily by the evaporation from the sea surface it encourage the formation of the massive vertical columns and cloud due to uh, convection with condensation of the rising air above the ocean surface and uh, definitely they are the same the matured stage the matured stage when a tropical storm intensify the air rise in the uh, vigorous thunderstorm and change to the spread of the horizontally at of the top uh, tropopause level once year spread out and the positive uh, pressure at the high level is produced and who is acclimated the downward motion of air due to convection and with the inducement of the subsidence air worm of uh, by the compression and the worm eye uh, basically low pressure center is called eye is in red the main physical features of the uh, mature tropical uh, cyclone in the indian ocean is a concentration pattern of highly uh, turbulent uh, giant and the cum uh, cumulus uh, thunder uh, clock winds and modification and uh, decay the tropical cyclone uh, begin to the weaken in the time of the it is uh, central low pressure and internal worm and the extremely high speed and soon as uh, their source of worm most year begin to have the abruptly cut up this happens after uh, it is the landform when the process over uh, cold to water uh, basically there are the uh, nomenclature of the tropical cyclone very uh, important uh, in this point the naming of tropical cyclone is a recent uh, phenomena and the process of the naming uh, cyclone involved the several countries in the region and is the uh, done under the age of world meteorology organization wmo for the indian ocean region the formula for naming cyclone was aggregated up in the 2004 and eight countries in the region bangladesh india maldives myanmar oman pakistan sri lanka thailand so all contribute the set of name and which are um, assigned the sequently uh, whenever the cyclone storm develop and uh, worldwide uh, terminology of the tropical cyclone is very important they are given uh, many name the different region of the world and there are the typhoons in the china in the pacific ocean the hurricane in the west uh, indian iceland in the caribbean sea and uh, and atlantic ocean tornado in the gunia lands of west africa and southwest usa and the willy willy in the northwestern australia and tropical cyclone in the indian ocean is very very important uh, and the first of all you know the huge effect on humans the tropical cyclone effect the people all over the world the hurricanes typhoons and the cyclone cause the flood and wind and rain and the use and the damage that have the several to the coastal area this storm have uh, caused the entire the towns to the 
uh, communities do a lot of damage and many people have lot life and friction due to the tropical cyclone some area are better favored to the dale with the storm and another place that have been faced with greater economic and physical losses from the tropical cyclone are influenced the country with the advanced infrastructure and uh, tropical cyclone risks will increase due to the global warming population growth there are urbanization increasing the coastal management also and first you know about the categories of different storms basically uh, there are the different category of the tropical cyclone depending on the wind speed of the storm tropical cyclone are give different name uh, to so how fast their winds are a storm that is less than 39 a uh, meter per hour in the designed as the tropical depression when a storm reaches 93 uh, uh, per hour uh, to uh, 74 uh, it is the officially in the called the, tro the tropical cyclone when it is the reach 74 and the higher it is called the tropical cyclone people that uh, st study tropical cyclone like scientists and meteorologists use the scale of the determine how much damage a particular storm could do to an area uh, so there are the one of important the hurricane you know hurricane and katrina august 29 2005 uh, was the head of hurricane katrina strike that coastal of the march of uh, southern united state the most significantly new land uh, laurasian on the day the hurricane katrina met land from the new wetlands and the bridge and uh, leaves the city the estimate 1833 people died in the hurricane and the uh, flooding but uh, the exact number in the steel unknown and the breaking ridge in the leaves and caused the extreme water and wind and rain damage that destroyed more than 1 million homes and uh, business katrina was uh, by far the most destructive storm to strike the united states and caused the approximately 108 billion in the damage and also the hurricane sandy in the between october 24 and october 31 of 2012 storm that would come to be the known as the super storm sandy reprised and through the march of the caribbean and the east coast of the united states and the damage from the sandy was done by the flooding when the erosion and sandy caused the flooding and the downwards and the power lines and trees and caused an infrastructure to get the demolished on the day of the storm hit in the new jersey and uh, uh, york metro uh, area and there are the uh, very uh, highly damaged the sandy wood tent up cause about 20 billion in the properties damage alone also the cause between the 10 million billion and 30 billion in the last business and to make in this year and uh, the cost leaves in the national register records the united state and uh, now about the extra tropical cyclone the extra tropical cyclone are uh, referred to the mid latitude depression there is basically uh, the temperate cyclone and uh, it's called the temperate and there are no you know the tropical and temperate that frontal depression and uh, wave uh, cyclone is basically important and there are the active about uh, above the mid latitude region between the 35 and 65 latitude in the both hemisphere uh, basically is this location the direction of the moment is storm west to east and the more profound in the winter season it is this the latitude zone in the polar and the tropical air masses meet and the forms and formation you know uh, formation of extra tropical extra uh, tropical cyclone uh, the origin and development of uh, temperate cyclone is best explained by the polar front theory you know uh, according to this theory the warm humid air masses from the tropical meet and dry cold air masses from the polar and thus the polar front is formed the cold air mass is denser and the heavier and the due to uh, to this reason and warm air and mass is the forced uh, of basically and also this interaction of the cold and warm uh, air masses uh, creates uh, uh, instability and a uh, low pressure is created at the junction particularly in the center of interaction and thus a uh, uh, fight on the create because of the listening and the pressure the surrounding of the year rust into the occupy this 
uh, fight in the occupy in the earth rotation of the cyclone is formed and extratropical cyclone present a contrast to the more and violent cyclone or hurricane of the tropical fizz form the region of uh, relatively uniform temperatures also and uh, they are very important for the air mass air mass is an extremely large body of the air uh, whose uh, properties of the temperature and moisture content at any uh, given altitude are fairly similarly it can uh, cover the hundreds of th uh, thousands of square mile of area it may have only a little horizontally variation in the temperature and moisture and thawed out of the air masses when an air mass remain over the homogeneous area for sufficiently longer time in accurate in the characteristics of this area the homogeneous region can be the vast ocean surface or vast plain and also about the front you know the front when two different air mass having uh, distinctly different properties made and the boundary zone between them is called a front and uh, there are four type of the front uh, number one the stationary font and cold font and warm font and occluded font you know uh, every little things uh, when the font remain the stationary it is called the stationary font and when the cold air move towards the warm air it is the contact zone is called the cold form and it is the warm air mass move uh, towards the cold area or mass in the contact zone is the warm form and if an air mass is fully lifted above the land surface it is the called and uh, the occluded font uh, so the font uh, occurred in the middle latitude uh, and air characteristics with the stiff and the gradient in temperature and pressure they bring uh, about the change in the temperature and cause uh, the air to rise uh, to form the cloud and cause of um, uh, precipitation also and uh, now i talk about uh, the cyclone in india basically tropical cyclone uh, the tropical cyclone uh, originate over the bay of bengal arabian sea and there is the indian ocean the tropical cyclone have very high winds velocity and the very heavy rainfall and heat the indian uh, coastal stage of the tamil nadu andhra pradesh west bengal odisha and gujarat basically these five state state are more uh, vulnerable uh, to uh, cyclone disaster than other state most of the cyclone are very destructive uh, due to high wind velocity and torrential rain that accumulates there are the three elements associated with the cyclone which cause the destruction during the occurrence these are first of all the strong winds basically it damage the installation the dwellings and community kitchen system trees and resulting the loss of life and properties and uh, torrential rain and the inland flooding the rain is serious problem for the people who become shelter less due to the cyclone heavy rainfall is the unusual spread over a wide area and the cause large scale soil erosion and the weakening of the environment and the storm surge uh, it is the abnormal rise in the sea level near the coast caused by a severe tropical cyclone due to storm such sea water sea winter in ants and low lying area of the coastal region drawing human beings and the livestock cause the eroding wage and the mr and uh, destroy the vegetation and lead to uh, reduction of the soil fertilities and uh, now uh, very important the management how is the management of the cyclone you know Uh, there are the many uh, structural and non structural measures for the effective disaster management of the cyclone first of all the structural management measures include construction of the cyclone and shelter construction of the cyclone resistant buildings and road links and the culverts bridge canals drains saline embankments and the surface water tank communication and the power transport network and non structural major uh, like the early uh, warning dissemination the system management of the coastal zone awareness generation and the disaster risk management and the capability building of all the stockholder involved and this major are the being adopted and the take place in the state and ways under the national cyclone 
risk mitigation project being the implements through world bank assistance and uh, also these are very important the western uh, disturbance and support uh, that the western disturbance is a common weather phenomena in india a western disturbance is an uh, extra tropical cyclone originating in the mediterranean region that brings sudden winter rain to the northwestern part of the indian subcontinent and they are the cause the most winter and free monsoon season rainfall across the northwest india such as the punjab haryana delhi western uttar pradesh and there are the phenomena is usually associated with cloudy sky and higher than the high uh, night temperature and the unusual rain and this precipitation uh, precipitation during the winter season has great importance is the agriculture particularly for rabi crops and including wheat it is the estimated that india get close to 5 to 10% of the total annual rainfall from the western disturbance so thank you must will watching and subscribe my channel thank you thank you to all